Hello everyone, and welcome back to Castlevania, Harmony of Dissonance. I don't know, I was just trying to go to the heartbeat. Anyway, welcome back everybody. Oh god, and we go. Sorry, I just went from silence to music so loud in my ears. My bad. I mean, welcome back everybody. Uh, last time, we were here in this area, the skeleton cave area on the bottom left of the map, on what, A-side castle? And we're going to finish exploring this area in its entirety before we move on to backtracking to find out where I clearly haven't been yet. Because right now, uh, I'm still hoping for a new ability, one that will let me jump higher, wall jump, one or the other, or one that will let me open up one of the two types of doors I still can't open. Those are pretty much the things I am missing and the things I am hoping for to find. So let's hope that one of those things is in this area. Or on the way through the rest of this area. Something like that. Uh, welcome in, DJ. How you doing today, sir? <clears throat> okay, I can slide under. I don't know if that mattered, um, but I can. Oh boy, a box puzzle. Here we go. Should be fun. Box puzzle. What are we? Where are we? What are we? What are we doing with said boxes? We need to get up there. Okay. If I push a box down here, it's gonna fall in this hole. We don't want that to happen. How do we avoid this happening? Will the box fit in that hole? I think it will, right? We don't want that. <clears throat> Not sure if it's Twitch being bad or if it's your internet. It took you way too long to load the stream. Well, sorry if that's the case, DJ. I don't know what to tell you other than hopefully that won't continue to be a problem. Let's just see where this falls. Yeah, okay, it falls all the way down. We don't, we don't want that. I need one box. I'm pretty sure I can't stack them, right? Like, I, they won't... Hold up. What happens if I push this one off? <clears throat> this one won't fall in the hole, though, right? It will not. Oh, maybe I should have done that. You know what? Let me, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me... Maybe I should have started with that. Oh, shit. I forgot to check the emote thing. I did. I forgot, DJ. Sorry. I totally forgot. I'll have to remember to do that. I totally forgot about that, though. My bad, dude. Um, yeah. I'll try to remember to do that after today's stream. I totally forgot. It's my bad. <clears throat> Thank you for reminding me, though. Because I totally... You showed it to me, like, early on in the stream last time. So, I mean, which is fine. But it may... And then I, now I'm just completely had forgotten that that conversation happened. <clears throat> Okay, so here's what we're gonna do here. I got ideas. Oh, that was poor choice. Poor choice. Poor poor choices were made. Poor choices were made. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so what I think I need to do is push this down. Maybe give this a little... Oh, I can't even give it a nudge. Okay, can I nudge it a little bit to the left without falling? Okay. That would probably be okay. I just don't want to... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Clearly, I want to block it so this boy can't fall in there. Oh, okay. Actually... No, no. This is good. This is good. I think... I think... Maybe not. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. Uh, how am I going to do this? Actually, do I even need three blocks? Maybe I only need two. Let's, Or maybe I only need one. Let's find out. Because I can't really stack them up. I'm not sure what I'm thinking right now. Like, I'm going to be able to stack these fucking things up. You can't stack them. Oh, shit. Uh, ooh. If I push this down, I'm not going to be able to push it anymore. It's not far enough away. Can I? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can't do that when they're all stacked up like that. I need to be able to push all the way. Yeah, I can't keep stacking the blocks up. I'm not sure what the hell I was thinking. Of course, I can't stack them. So what the hell am I even thinking? Well, shit. If I only need one block, what happens if I just push them into the fucking hole? <laughs> 
Does it go high enough to where I can push the block? Let's find out. It does not. I won't be able to push it. I don't think. Well, you know what? Let's test that theory. Let's not assume anything. Maybe I can push it from below. I just need to push it far enough to get it out, out of this fucking... Ah, uh, see, but it's not enough to get it past that lip. <sighs> man, that's that's annoying. Man, how the heck do they want you to do this, man? I'm trying to think. How am I going to do this? It's, it's clearly doable. I just have to think. Think. Critical think. I still feel like this one has to go first. Or does it? Does the gap at the bottom of that hole serve a purpose? You mean this one down here? So I can slide under, you mean? I don't think I can... I don't think so. I guess so, just in case you block... Like, because you can't, like, punch it from beneath. I'm just trying to think. All I need to do is get one... I'm trying to think, like, how I can do this, man. How am I going to do this? Ah, I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, it's it's like it should make sense. It shouldn't be this difficult. What's why is this difficult? If any isn't on top, you can't push from below, right? Yes, that is the case. You must push from the top. What if... See, I, this doesn't... If I push you off to the left, where do you land? You're going to land on this platform. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's helpful. Maybe this is helpful. Maybe? Maybe not. I'm trying to think. Maybe I need to push both those blocks that way. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe this is where I need to begin. And then push this on top of it. And then push this on top of that and then push it off. I hope. Wait. I hope I didn't go too far. I think I think it's probably fine. We're gonna find out though. Ooh, barely, but we got enough space. There it is. I got it. I got it, y'all. I just had to think a little differently. Sometimes you just gotta think about it a little differently. Alright. Hell yeah, we in there. Hardest puzzle we've ever had to solve in our lives. There's a key, y'all. I see a key. That better unlock the thing where the water can be drained or whatever. I know exactly where to use that. Let's just put it that way. Why am I not using my shield? I don't know. Floodgate key. Yep. That's the other item I was hoping for. If not an ability, the floodgate key will be necessary. So I know where to use that. Let's confirm that there's nowhere else to look around, though. Let's confirm. Uh, let's see. The hole matches the BG thing. The BG thing? What? Charge it up, charge it up. Cheek, y'all. There it is. Fuck out of here. I'm assuming this is going to be a dead end for me, but I'm going to double check. This is most likely going to be a dead end. I probably just have to backtrack to the floodgate. Well, there's a save point here. I guess we'll go ahead and just pop the save just because... The background had a detail so you knew there, where the hole was positioned. Oh, I see. 
There was a thing in the background that helped you figure out where the hole was at, so it lined up. I see. I didn't even really pay attention to that, but I probably should have. Then I wouldn't have had to check if I was lined up. Okay, yeah, this is the rainbow door. This is a wall jump I can't do. What's over here? Ah, another one of these fucking rooms I don't know what to do with. Okay. All right. So as expected, all the things are the same. Floodgate key. That was that was the main thing we needed. It was one of the one of the three options. Well, four, I guess, technically, because there's still two kinds of doors I can't open. The rainbowy door and the regular green door. The green doors are kind of whatever, though. I don't think any of the green doors are going to lead me anywhere that is new. Those are simply just going to be shortcuts. The rainbowy, blue, green, whatever, yellow door, that's the door I care about. Because that one all keeps leading to places I can't seem to go yet. So either we need a way to open those, or we need a way to open up... Or wall jump. High jump. High jump, wall jump. Either or will work fine. Just need one of those. In the meantime, we're heading back, y'all. Hopefully I can remember where that floodgate room was at, exactly. I remember it was at a dead end. I just have to remember which dead end. But it's over in the cavern area, I know that. Why did I not kill you? Working our way back to town. Do 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 do. I guess I could kill these guys. Ooh, big money, no whammies. I did spend a bunch of my money, and who knows what kind of stuff I might find at a shop later. Also, yeah, boy. Level up. Let's go. Okay. So I think the dead I'm and I'm looking for is on the right side of the map over there on that side. Like, it's not in this particular area. So I just need to head over and go down and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's not in this particular region that I'm in. It's going to be unfortunate if I have to backtrack through that area because it is a lot of boxes that I have to push. Hopefully, the next time I go back over there, I'll be heading there from the other direction or on Castle B side. Is all these block pushing puzzles or just a pain in the ass? But I feel like this is designed in such a way where I probably won't have to do them again if I don't want to. Because by the time I do have to go back over there, maybe I will have whatever the high jump wall jump move is going to be. Why don't I have my fucking shield out? All it's doing is slowing me down, not having it out, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Don't want the hand of God. Ah. Disco armor boy. Move it or lose it. Move it or lose it. All right, so from here I need to go. Keep going right. Keep going right, keep going right into the creeps. So I know the dead end that, or not dead end, but the, the path that is right below, I'm not there yet. It's in the low, it's right below where I'm about to be in a second. I know that's where there is water and probably where I'll go, where I will need to go as soon as I do drain the water. Ah, <sighs> but we gotta drain that water first. At this point, I have zero desire to kill all the things. I just want to get by them. Damn it. Fuck this plant. You're a bitch. I tell you what. Dude, stop burning me, you whore. Hold up. Yeah, keep going right. If you go down here, this is where the water is blocking. We don't need to deal with that right now. Damn it. Bitch, you better put your fire away, ho. Damn it. I really want a diagonal whip so bad. I really do. Dude, how many hits do you take? Bitch. I just wanted to kill her for the experience points at that point. <clears throat> okay. So, I need to go... Pretty sure I just need to snake my way down. I think it's that bottom left room. I'm hoping that's the right one. I, I remember a room. it was a room facing to the left. 
I do remember that. So I'm pretty sure I see you snake my way down this way. Oh, hello, victory armor. You're about to be a loser armor, bitch. No victory for you today, ho. All right, and then this one I'm going down to the right. Ah, whatever. Fuck that bitch. You take too long. Ooh. Is this the hall that had the big skele skeleton dudes down here? Is this the right way for that, or is that was that a different path? I thought that was down here. I think it might be in this next room. No. This room just has a bunch of these bitches. Sylph hoes. Don't be shooting your magic at me, ho. There it is. Floodgate key was used. There it is. Back to administering justice. Eustace? Indeed, RPG fan. Welcome in. How you doing today, man? Immense water drained away from somewhere. Cool beans. That's what I came here for. There's only been one place where there's been water that I know of. So, let's go check it out. Bitch. Uh. Screaming agony, ho, because I'm killing you. And I'm not going to stop killing you. Because you's a bitch ass ho. Well, shit, now the floodgates are open. I mean, that's a good thing. Wouldn't want that to happen now, would you? Anyway, you've been good RPG fan. You've been playing Shining Force 2 for the first time. Cool. Shining Force. I, I did a one off, like, uh,. We, we got those games as fortune cookie games. Those games meaning Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2. And also Shining in the Darkness, which is a very different style of game, but made by the same people, I believe. Um, I got those games as, like, one-offs for Fortune Cookie Friday, and I thought about it. I'm like, man, these would probably be fun tactics games to play someday. I just, man, when it comes to streaming, I just don't have any desire to stream tactics games. Like, Final Fantasy Tactics was an exception. If I ever get around to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, sure, I can make that exception, probably. But it's just like, Tactics games feel so intimidating to play in, in the first place. So streaming them just feels like a whole extra nightmare that I just don't want to... I just don't want to, you know? So then I feel like I'm obligating myself to playing a really long game on stream, basically. Fire Emblem games are a good example of what I'm talking about. Now, Shining Force might be a better stream type game just because they're probably shorter than a Fire Emblem game. By the way, this is where the water was. Now it's gone. Now that the water's gone, unless it's Mario plus Rabbids. Well, see, Mario plus Rabbids, first off, it's short. Second of all, it's much more visually appealing because it's Mario and it's got really high res graphics and it looks nice. And third, it's not really a tactics game. I mean, it is a tactics game, but it's not a tactics game in the sense of what I'm explaining. It's more of a tactical shooter type game, which is same same with um, arm plates. Same with uh, uh, that fucking Valkyria Chronicles game that I played. Like, I liked the game, but playing it on stream was very, uh, I don't know. It didn't. It wasn't super duper long. That was the only reason it was an okay playthrough to me. So you'd say you'd put them on different top lists. No, actually, I wouldn't, DJ. I'm just saying the type of being the type of RPG that they are, they're much more time consuming and have a lot more penchant for having to retry a whole battle over and over again. That's all I'm saying. What kind of gloves was it? Arm plates. There they are. I was like, what the hell were they called? Bloody glove. Maybe it's better than the bloody glove. It is not. Okay, arm plates. Pointless. Cool. I'm glad I spent the time searching for that for nothing. I was busy talking about tactics games. Anyway, you played the first Shining Force recently, and it was definitely a fun game. However, Final Fantasy Tactics is one of the... Yeah, exactly. I think we talked about this. Well, actually, I don't think it was you who asked the question, RPG fan. It was nice toast, but... Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is in my top ten. 100% for sure. Favorite games, period.
Huh. Have I explored this place on Castle at B? I have. This is where the teleport is on Castle a on Castle B. Okay. Well, I'm expecting a boss fight down here then. If that's the case, I don't expect another teleport. If there is, cool. Could you, like, let me kill you, sir? You're being a real butthole, Mr. Blaze Master. All right, you know what? Fuck that guy. I don't even, even want to fight him. Fuck him. But yeah, you still want to give some tactics games a shot of that non-shooter style. So like Final Fantasy Tactics, you mean? Or like Disgaea? Those kind of tactic games? Fire Emblem? You're talking about like those kind of games, DJ? Did this guy fucking die already? You know what I just discovered? You can aim that. I never knew that. You can literally aim that shield. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh, boss fight. Okay. Uh, no save point on the way to the boss fight, surprisingly. Um, that's fine. I will uh, be fine. In fact, I'll just pop a couple little potions right now because I got them. Blaze Master's acting like that that met enemy from Mega Man. Oh yeah, the fucking helmets. Fuck those guys. Yeah, this guy is a tactical RPG. Um, it's very much like Final Fantasy Tactics. Grid with the top-down isometric grid and everything. Oh, snap. I found death, y'all. So this is where you were. Return Liddy to me. Fear not. That maiden is now with Maxim. But why leave Liddy out of this? That maiden would play an essential role in the completion of this castle. What do you mean by that? This castle is in a transient state and is preparing for my lord's resurrection. However, the castle is not complete until these two castles have merged. In short, we must rid of your dear friend's spirit. Maxim is a man of great strength. It won't be so easy to do as you plan. He was born of my lord, so of course he knows ways to reinforce his power. When something is dear to you, its effect upon you becomes immeasurable. No, surely not. Not Liddy's blood. Stay away from her. Do not interfere. Now, I will extinguish the candle of your soul. Oh shit, it's death time, y'all. Gotta have death. It wouldn't be a, a Castlevania game without a fucking throwdown with death. Will he be a more difficult death? He wasn't very difficult in Circle of the Moon, if I remember correctly, that's for sure. I can tell you right now, he already seems harder than the Circle of Moon death. Just based on what I'm looking at right now. Not that it's that difficult, but just saying. Right now, I'm just going. I'm just going ham with my shit right now. Ah. Definitely got all these sickles flying around. Ah. Whip, 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 whip. Gimme, gimme, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that. Oh shit, form two. Ah. I should have known there'd be a form two. There's always a form two with this fucker. He don't play. All right, hold up. I'm going to heal a little bit just in case I'm about to die. I'm also going to pop uh, an MP heal, I think, because I would like to use my magic. Anyway, let me catch up on chat real quick. Um, Fire Emblem just seems like too big of a task to commit to. I can agree with that. That's why I don't really want to stream Fire Emblem games, even though I probably should stream just one. Preferably a blind one. Or maybe I'll just stream fucking Path of Radiance. It's the best one and my, my favorite one. Tactics, you'd probably feel like an outsider with much motivation, with that much motivation, not having any other, not having finished any other FF game. Well, it's not like it has any specific mechanics for any Final Fantasy games, EJ. It's a tactics game. It just has references and stuff like we weapons and items are Final Fantasy themed. That's, and enemies too. Um, that's the main thing. But yeah. But yeah, FF Tactics definitely is plenty, plenty of standalone title without needing to play any other game. I I I dude I can't move I'm gonna die I'm gonna fucking die I'm glad I bought high potions earlier I'm stuck underneath him I couldn't move
bitch. Damn, this is a terrible. This is just, can I land on his back? Oh fuck, I can land on his back. Okay, we're good. I didn't know I could land on his back. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, this changes everything. This changes everything. Easy boss. Like seriously, I didn't realize you could get on his back. That makes it way too easy. You could just be very, very uh, diplomatic about your attack pattern now. Just take your time. Do it right. Do it, baby. Do it tonight. FF Tactics is also more complicated to get into because of the gameplay. But it's a ton of fun once you get the hang of it. I wouldn't say it's that complicated, RPG fan. Anyway, I beat him, y'all. You're too late. The castles will soon begin to merge together. How is that going to work, though? Will it merge together while I'm playing, or is it going to merge at the end? Like, that's the ending of the game. I feel like merging has to be at the end of the game. But all right. Cool. We beat death. Death ain't shit. Yeah, dude, attack more diplomatically. I will attack you from behind while sitting on your head. Very diplomatic. Hey, it's going to be a high jump, isn't it? Griffin's wing. It's got to be a high jump or something, right? Yep, it's the down up high jump. Yep, that's it. I had a feeling that's what it was going to be. After, after being this far into the game, giving me wall jump and the high jump would have been weird. So it makes sense to have, be, have it be the high jump at this point. I don't even want to fuck with this guy, dude. These guys are annoying. Could you, like, not be right in my way, dude? Mr. Blaze Master, you're a real bunghole. Tell you what. Oh, yeah. Can I do it in midair, too? Totes can. Or maybe not. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Wasn't sure, but now I'm sure. I don't even want to kill these guys. Oh my god, dude. Stop being on top of me, dude. I'm annoyed already. I don't even want to fight these guys. Ay ay ay. Ah, there was an item down here. Leggings. Cool. I'd argue that some of the early difficulty spikes with like Door to Trade City with the rooftop archers might pose daunting obstacles for newcomers. I would normally say that RPG fan, but case in point, my homie Drew Mink, he's here sometimes in my stream. I mean, I would say he's here more often than not, uh, but not lately. Point is, he played Final Fantasy Tactics last, late last year, and he actually handled Door to Trade City first try. Now, to be fair, he got a little lucky, kind of accidentally did it, and pulled it just by the hair of his chinny chin chin. But he first tried that shit. I was kind of pissed off that he did it on his first try. But I agree, Door to Trade City can be an early obstacle for any newcomer for that game, for sure. But it's just proof that, you know, you gotta learn the game. That's really what it comes down to. That, it's the get good moment of the game. Like, get good, homie. So now that I got high jump, where have I not been that I can get to now? You're the type that loves to set up calculators to cheese battles. Um, I'm not a big fan of the calculator thing myself. I know it's very, very OP when you cheese the shit out of the game. Um, I know Frog. I don't think Frog's here at the moment either, but Frog is a big Final Fantasy Tactics fan as well, and he, he always tried to preach telling me to use a calculator when I was playing, or when I when he played the game anyways. All right, anyway, now that I have the high jump, I'm pretty sure I can go over here to this little crevice down here on the bottom right. So we're going to check this out real quick and see if there's anything needed over here. And then we're going to switch to the other side the other castle and do the same check. All right, so let's see what's up here. Whee! Oh, I actually made that jump, surprisingly. Whee! Oh, heart max, I'll take it. It's probably a similar power up on the other castle. But what's up here? Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, calculus pretty much removed the challenge from the game. 
still so hilariously fun. Yeah, calculators and uh, a little guy I like to call the Thunder God himself. Yeah, those are the two uh, difficulty levelers, shall we call Well, the, the, the uh, game breakers, we'll call that. Those are the game breakers right there, especially Orlando. Skull key? I wonder if that lets me open certain doors. Skull key. Opens doors marked with a skull design. Have I come across a door with a skull design on it? Or is that just one of the green or flashy doors? I guess we'll find out. Either way, I got the skull key. Sick. I don't recall any doors that had a skull on them. Maybe I do, I just forgot? I don't remember. I do what we call them, that's for sure. But anyway. Cool. Yeah, with, now that we have high jump, anywhere that I couldn't get up to is now available to me. Yay. Pretty hyped about it, actually. Let's see. Teleport is above here. That's where we're going. Because I want to explore the rest of this area on the B side. So we're going to do that. B side. Oops. I forgot down teleports you in other places. Um, You know, I can probably explore that whole left side now. I have to go all the way down and across. But... I'm pretty sure I can. Search this disguise theme, realize it's already on six. Probably not that much smaller of a task than Fire Emblem. Um, I'm pretty sure in terms of story, DJ, uh, this guy is not too heavy on story. I don't think. I could be wrong. Can I go up here? How do I break that, I wonder? I wonder if I'm going to get ability to break that. Anyway, I want to be back down down here, and I want to be on Castle B. Yes, okay. Let's do some exploration, shall we? Some re-exploration. Similar, you, fe you felt Baldur's Gate was very daunting when you first played that as well, RPG fan. But you loved it once you got the hang of it. Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amnes is one of your second favorite of game of all time behind Deus Ex. Wow. Interesting. I've definitely heard good things about Baldur's Gate. Again, I did a one-off of Baldur's Gate, the first one, one time. I just thought it was too dated to really want to get into now, you know? That's really how I looked at it. I was like, this is not the kind of game I want to learn and reinvest my time into. I was fine with trying it, because that was the whole purpose of me playing it, but that was as far as I wanted to take that, you know? Elixir. What else we got up here? Ooh, what's that? Armor? What armor is this B? Can I please? Can I please do the jump? Jesus. Walk armor. Is that the one that's like, it's stronger the more uh, map you've uncovered? No, this is one that restores your HP as you walk. Okay, well that's nice too. Not really necessary for me most of the time, but nice. Okay, so we finally got to explore the that. There's not really anything else down in this area I couldn't get to. I can work my way back up to the clock tower area. I could. It could happen. I would like to uncover that one piece of map. But my main goal, I think, is to go all the way to the left. So we can go up into that part of the castle where we haven't been yet. Yeah. The biggest problem with the first Baldur's Gate is that you're extremely underleveled, so it's an uphill battle the entire way, I see. And the second game is much more balanced. Well, that tends to happen with series of games, where the first game is not as well balanced as, you know, future games. That tends to happen quite a bit with, with series of games. They get better balanced as time goes on. So wait, where am I going? I forgot where I wanted to go. Is there a teleport? Or can I get closer to there? I can't, right? I'm trying to think if there's like a faster way for me to get to where I want to be. Because if I teleport to one of the other 
like main gates. I don't think anything's closer. I think I just have to walk from here. Just, like, that's about as fast as it's going to get, just walking from here. <sighs> you can sit here and ponder about it, or we could just go fucking do it. Honestly, this side, this B side, should be much easier to traverse. So, I'm not sure why I'm bitching about it. Also, where am I going? The, the exact wrong way. I'm supposed to go through the save point room, idiot. Where the hell am I going? Wrong fucking way. They're still both much tougher than later Bioware games like KOTOR and Mass Effect. You're talking about Baldur's Gate. Um, yeah. I mean, I haven't played KOTOR. I need to play KOTOR. That's a game that there's a lot of people in my community who've been wanting me to play it for a long time. I said I would play it, but again, I have so many RPGs I want to play. Playing KOTOR just feels like a task, you know? Where's that one door that has the breakable rock? What area is that in? Isn't that... I thought I was down here. Like the rock that I couldn't break. Isn't that in this area? What I do know is I'm going to go over here real quick. Maybe that was not in this area. Anyway, I just want to go up here real quick and see if there's anything up here. Or it's literally just a path. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Ooh, I want that big bag of money. I'll take that hot one, hundo. KOTOR is a great game. Your favorite Star Wars game? Fair enough. I haven't played a ton of Star Wars games, you know, and, and finished them. I've tried them over the years, you know, as most people probably have. But the only one I've actually finished playing and beating was the first uh, Force Unleashed game, which I thought was pretty fun. I liked all the force power stuff. It was kind of fun. Not a super long game either. Where is that rock at? I'm trying to remember where that was at. Because I know a path that's, it's a path that goes down, and then the rock is to the right. What pathway is that? Is that not in Castle B? I thought it was in Castle B. I'm trying to remember. I thought it was in this area. Maybe it's not a room. Like, maybe it's not its own room. Maybe it's literally just a small thing that you can uncover and just grab, like, a quick item, and that's all it is. Which means it's probably not a required item, if I had to guess. Whatever it is. The fact that I already got what I needed. I got a key and a wall jump, or a high jump ability. Those are things I needed. Well, the key is probably needed at this point. I don't know yet for sure. Anyway, you've played a lot of Star Wars. You haven't played a lot of Star Wars games, RPG fan, but you've always had a soft spot for original Battlefront. Never played Battlefront myself. I've seen it. Looks cool. I never played Jedi Knight Dark Forces. Has a lot of nostalgia value for you, though. Nostalgia value for you. Yeah, me and Star Wars games. Um, can't really say I've played a whole lot. I did get some more furniture to throw in here. Room's looking pretty nice. Very furnished. Kill all vampires. They suck. Ha 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 ha. Hi, frog. Welcome in. Yeah, I have played the old school Star Wars game, for better or worse. That is true. We did play Super Star Wars and Super Return of the Jedi. Or no, no, Super Empire Strikes Back. We didn't play Return of the Jedi yet, actually. Not that it was probably any different, but yeah. Um, did we play? In, did we play the NES Star Wars game on on a fortune cookie? I think we did, right? I don't really remember which door is blocking. Oh, no, no, I remember. Down there is a, one of those walls that you have to, like, get by. I don't have a way to get past one of those walls yet. I still think... I, th I still figured we were going to get, like, a phase through the wall ability. 
That's what I figure. We don't have something like that yet, so. I still think there's going to be an ability like that. Just like a quick teleport that lets you teleport like one space in front of yourself or something, or two spaces. Ow. Ow. You remember watching your older brothers play Super Star Wars on SNES when you were a kid and it was insanely tough? Yeah, those Super Star Wars games are ridiculous. Those are the kind of games that I'm like, if I was feeling very persistent one day, I could see myself like save stating my way through those games just to see if I could beat them. It's like if I ha if, if they're beatable skill wise, even if you have without the fact that you have to restart all the time. I'd be I'd be I'd be down to try, I think, because even the, the two that I was playing, I'm pretty sure I never got completely stopped on the point where I couldn't make any more progress. It was just a matter of, you know, having to keep trying. I never got to a complete roadblock where I couldn't make progress. It was just one. Of, it was like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It was like eventually I got past the obstacle. It just took a bunch of tries. And Super Ghouls and Ghosts is another one I'd love to go back and try to brute force my way through the rest of that as well. Like, I wouldn't consider myself good enough or interested enough to take the time to beat them legitimately, but I'd love to see the rest of those games just to see them, you know? But yes, the KOTOR remake is probably what I'm going to end up waiting for. That's why I haven't played KOTOR yet. I knew there was a reason why I was waiting in my head. I knew. It was like, I remember I had it on my list and I kind of put it, deprioritized it once they announced the remaster or remake or whatever. That's why I didn't play KOTOR yet. I'm waiting on that. That's what we're waiting on. I knew there was a reason. <laughs> you made me AFK for a bit. All right, frog. BRB. So this is a save point. We're going to use this. All right, so at the very least, I should be able to get up to where the other area is. But we're going to see if the key door, the skull <coughs> key, rather, it opens up these green doors. They're these rainbowy doors, I keep calling them. I don't think it's going to be that door, but we're going to find out. The skull door might be the green ones, actually. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Next time I'm near one of the green doors, which we should be soon, actually. Because they're up in this area where we're going right now. Hell yeah. Progress, y'all. We're about to make some more of it. Kick ass. I mean, today's today's session has been mostly just progress. Straightforward. So here we go. You should bother me to play... You should bother me to play Apollo Justice more. You probably should, DJ. <laughs> it's like, I, wanna, I do want to play it. I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood to play a visual novel lately, you know? Like, in a super reading, hardcore reading mode. I'm really glad we're not playing a Trails game right now, you know? Because, yeah. Okay, this way leads up higher. I don't want to go that way yet. I want to go back to the entrance area real quick. Feather Demon. Fuck you, Feather Demon. Yeah, I want to go out here. So I can't go up that way. But I can go up here. Oh, but it's blocked. It's blocked. Oh, that makes me sad because I don't know. I have a question. It's not going to work, but I have a question. If I could jump with this and see if I could break those, I would do it, but... I can't jump with it, so never mind. <laughs> I was kind of hoping maybe maybe I can break blocks with that one. All right, so that shit's blocked. I got to find a way to break blocks with my jump or something, I guess. Find a helmet you can wear to break open shit or something. I don't really know. <sighs> Didn't I pick up some armor earlier? I did. It was the walk armor, which wasn't really very good, but it heals you. But we got the war fatigues, which better strength. Less defense, more intelligence. I might put these on, actually. All right, so... Yeah. 
if you if you get in the mood try to make that game a choice i'll just say this dj if i do get in the mood to play another visual novel ace attorney is probably top of the list for the series we're going to come back to first since i've already pretty much resigned myself to playing stuff on a ds emulator anyways in general I, i'm i'm just going to say that that's a good chance there's a good chance ace attorney will be first Intelligence is for losers. You shut up, Action Boo. Oh, what's up, man? Welcome in. Ah! When you first played Castlevania 3 on the Anniversary Collection, you hated it for its difficult. Then you discovered it gave you the option to play the Japanese version, which you enjoyed much more as the difficulty was much more balanced. I have heard that the Castlevania 3 Japanese version is better balanced, or better, not as hard. Because Castlevania 3 can suck my dick. But it was such a good game, but it was just so fucking difficult and frustrating. But I thought it was good, is the thing. It's just, man, it's hard. Also, what's up, Lugia? The DS Castlevanias are all fantastic. I gotta play those, too, but we're doing Advanced Collection first. The DS games can wait. And I don't know how long I'm going to wait on the DS games, but I definitely have plenty more Metroidvanias to play. I mean, we obviously got to play Aria of Sorrow next. Uh, not not legit next game after this, but, you know, that'll be the next Metroidvania I play, I imagine. I don't have any other Metroidvanias lined up after this one yet. But I still have plenty more to do. I've been trying to play them because I was kind of just in a mood to play them, but I think after this one... We'll be playing something else. Although I will say, technically, the slot that this game is being played in is the same time slot, or same, I won't call it time slot, but same game slot as what we just started yesterday, Psychonauts. I, the only reason I even started playing this game in the first place was just because I had an extra day to start it, and then I just kind of lingered there to uh, get finished eventually. So I just wanted to finish this up. But Psychonauts is definitely our next like main LP focus game for newer game. And then once Witcher is 100% done, which we're going to do one more Witcher stream next week. Just one. Just one. We'll start up our next RPG game. So look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, in the meantime, I think we'll get back to Ghost of Tsushima once Witcher is completed, which will be next week. So the new RPG plus Ghost of Tsushima and then Psychonauts until that's done. That'll be our like our three games that should be going at the same time. It's hard to keep track of, I know, because I'm always rotating shit around and playing other shit, but that's the general thought in my head. That's why I'm hoping we'll finish this tonight so I don't have to keep this in the rotation for next week. I think we're on the home stretch here, though. This is literally the last main area in the castle we haven't explored. So we're making pretty good time right now. At this point, I'm just going to have to keep making sure I exhaust all paths that I haven't been to. I'm hoping there's going to be a, a castle warp over here somewhere. Aria of Sorrow is the best GB one by, GBA one by far. Well, that's the next one we're going to play. I mean, like I said, it may not be the next game on my list to do in general, but it is the next Metroidvania we will do. I will probably get, it to, get to it relatively soon. Maybe after I finish Psychonauts 2, and then I finish maybe one other game, some other shorter maybe, hopefully, game. There's a teleport here. Sick. I'm going to stay on this side, but there's a teleport here. Sick. Um, but once I finish uh, Psychonauts 2 and maybe one more game, maybe that's when I will start up uh, Aria of Sorrow. I think I'll just keep that as my you know probable setup. Opens the door that gives off a golden hue. Okay. I still haven't figured out with the skull design one, but now we have a lure key that opens up golden hue. Does the green door have a golden hue? Maybe the green door has a golden hue. Also, this is a dead end, isn't it? Motherfuck, it is. Well, I'm going to finish exploring the B-side before I teleport out of here. Or actually, you know what? It might behoove me to check the A-side, actually. Because the A-side probably doesn't have a whole lot to uh, check out. Am I absolutely sure you don't need to activate it? Yes, I'm absolutely sure, DJ. The only reason I had issue with it last time when I thought I had to activate it was because I didn't realize 
uh, the teleports weren't actually going to each other. What is this? Platinum tip. Just the tip. Platinum tip? Adds a platinum ball. It's better than the steel one. Oh my shit. Oh my shit. My attack is way better. I should be using that. Hell yeah. Eat my platinum tip, bitch! Hell yeah. For the strength, y'all. Alright. Cool. I'm glad I stopped by here real quick to grab this. There's not really anything else for me to explore. Oh, there is one thing, though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to check it now because it's not that far off. I'm going to go check. Ah, uh, but it's probably blocked by... Never mind. It's probably blocked by the fucking blocks. Never mind. Until I figure out a way to break those blocks, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just head back to B. I'd much rather finish exploring the B side right now. 